Hello and welcome everyone to a review of Modern Warfare 2. Um, this is on the other account, so people from both by, hello from the other, because I'm linking. But anyways, I'm just about to dive into um, Xbox Live's multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2. I'm just looking around. I can't do anything yet since I'm still level 1, since I haven't done anything. But you have call signs and what? Kill streaks. You got your title, your emblem, your clan tag, and your kill streak rewards. Then looking in the barracks here. God damn it, I'm hitting down. Oh, it actually tells you your NAT is open. But then there's your normal challenges from before. Accolades, whatever, I'm assuming just other achievements in the game as well, I guess. And then you got your leaderboards and your prestige. Prestiging happens at level 70. I was wondering about that. Well, let's check my friends out real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Got some people playing an hour. Got people 50 something minutes. Cool. Anyways, gives you everything over here. Ties even. When you tie, ooh, that's new. Um, wins, losses, win streak, headshots, assists. Oi. Oh, Keeps a track of your assist now too. Sweet. And streaks and deaths. So yeah. I will add more when the time comes. I totally forgot to even show the matches. Oops. Um, okay. We start off with team death match, mercenary team death match, and free for all. Oh, and it tells you what is allowed with party chat and what isn't. Anything with a star next to it, party chat is allowed. So team deathmatch, you cannot do party chat. Oh man. I guess it looks like private chat for for a little while anyways. Um, alright, um, ground war. All these are unlocked too. All these ones down through here. Domination. Unlock level 4. Ground War level 4. Demolition level 7. My iPod's alarming. Sabotage at 10. Headquarters Pro at 10. Search and Destroy at 13. Capture the Flag at 16. Third Person Teams. Which I have no clue. I'm assuming you play in a third person. I've heard things about that. That's at 19. Hardcore Ricochet... Search and Destroy, I'm assuming? SD? Hardcore Ricochet. That's new. Team Deathmatch Hardcore and Third Person Cage Match. Nice. And plus, also at the bottom, if somebody's online, it shows their rankings for their score. And if anybody's actually playing a current game, it will actually tell you down at the bottom. Which is a really nice feature, in my opinion. The game winning kill! They show the game winning kill and everything. 30 and 21 I was in my first match. Yes. New emblem. Feature unlocks. Play as the sniper scout. Choose my title emblem. Almost to level 4. I was the most feared. The most, the most kills of higher rank. And the match winning kill. Oh man. That was great. That that was a rush. That was a rush. Okay. I'll explain this. Let's explain these three kill streaks. That's like a missile. You open up a laptop and then you just shoot like an, an individual missile down at somebody. That's a care package where you could fully resupply all your ammo. And it just drops off. And that's your, your your recon. Cool thing is though, when I first did this, I got the three here. I didn't use it. I got the four here. Didn't use it. I got here, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to use it. I was able to go backwards. So, if you end up overshooting one of your kill streaks and not using it, you're able to reuse it. You don't lose it, which is amazing. I like that. All the other ones, you couldn't use it. And then now I have names and stuff. But, wow, there's like 30, 22 pages. But I'm going to upgrade myself to the SSDD, whatever that means. And then I can do a new emblem up there. Unless there's a lot of pages of that, too. So, cool. 
after once I get to level 4 and higher, I will actually go look at the guns and everything else. Not trying to miss anything, but I didn't realize there was an arrow, because I went to go check my summary again. You know, I had all this. Then you hit the right arrow, tells you your experience points, your challenges, your match bonus, all that crap. Then your all your things from that. I had the most kills, somebody had the kill, highest kill death ratio. Somebody had fewest deaths, most time near enemies, like all that type of stuff. Then the scoreboard at the end. So, oh, oh it even keeps assists that time. So I'm assuming, oh, I didn't say how many kills I had by, by what and stuff. Hmm. Probably only because I'm not doing teams or something. There's probably more in-depth with teams, but 